So right over here, they want you to expand this worksheet, which is 1 minus 5z times 2 minus 5z. So how you're going to do this is you have to, you, you can follow this simple method, which is where you take this little, um, this first bracket over here. So you take the first number of the bracket, the first, the first, um, the first numeral or like letter, if it is like here's a letter. So you do, you take that and multiply it and or before you multiply, actually before you multiply, you draw a curved little line like this and you take this number now and go one, two. So you're going to multiply it like this. So one times two over here. Let me switch to another pen. Um, one, one times two over here would equal two. And one times minus five Z would equal minus five Z. And later we go over to this numeral over here. So let me erase some stuff so it's clearer for you. 5z times 2 would equal 10z. Wait, minus 5z times 2 equals the minus 10z. So you have to type in the minus over here, over here, this side. So then once you get minus 10z, you're going to have to multiply minus 5z with minus 5z, which is plus 25 z square so we're going to insert that but we cannot insert that because we still have to sort of make simplify it easier so the true answer would be two minus over here the z's have no squared numbers therefore we can add we can add them up so it's minus 5z minus 10z since it's not really addition it's neg uh, negative so you do minus 5z minus 10z which is minus 15z then you go to 25z square plus 25z square because it's a positive so that should be your answer let's check it in 2 minus 15z plus 25z squared it's correct all right, so 64x squared minus 144x plus 81 will equal, they want you to factor it. So let's do over here. What are the factors of 64? 64 is a square number of eight, meaning eight times eight will equal 64. How about x squared? x squared, we don't know what it is. So x squared will equal to x times x. So we can do eight x times 8x plus a and then 8 times 8x plus b and close bracket so that will equal first we need to do the the multiply form, form formula for brackets parentheses this doesn't have to always work there are shortcuts for some but if you need to prove them you might have to rely on this so i'm going to use this method for now which is 64x squared plus all right 8x times b is 8bx or 8xb either way and then a times 8 is plus 8a oh wait 8 a times 8x which is 8ax plus a times b which is ab all right now that we got that done we need to figure out what ab equals ab equals to 81 positive 81 However, my six, eight B, you don't have to bother about the X, plus eight A, don't have to bother about the X again, equals to minus 144. We don't need, we don't need to bother about this, this X again. Now, we know that, we know that A times B is a positive what makes 81? 9 times 9. But because we see this is negative, there's no way both of those have to be positive. So both of them can be minus 9 times minus 9, 
which will equal to, which will still equal to 81 but minus 9 times 8 is minus 72 plus minus minus 9 times 8 again it is minus 72 so technically it's minus 72 minus 72 that should equal to 144 therefore a and b both equals to 70 to minus 9 so what we can do over here that solves our equation over here now we can look back all the way over this equation where we do 8x plus a which we now know is minus 9 at times 8x plus b which we all also know is minus 9 too so we can put them in in this formula where we factored them completely so i would normally you can write 8x hold on 8x minus 9 times 8x minus 9 but there's also a what if i told you that was a simpler formula we can just simplify this into 8x minus 9 squared it worked it still works now now they ask us to expand again they want it to be a polynomial in standard form so how are we going to do this again you might ask x times x x7 like this the formula that we used three times this being the third would be x Hold on, let me write the x again. x squared plus x times 7, which is 7x, and then minus 4 times x, so it would be a negative for sure. So it's minus 4x minus 4 times 7, positive, but would also be a negative. So it's minus, minus 4 times 7 is, min is 28 plus a minus over there, so it's minus 28. This isn't done because over here, x and x has no square or any other different numerals multiplied by it. So we can do x squared plus 7x. We can put a bracket over here, 7x minus 4x, which is 3x minus 28. This is our following answer. So let's check it out see if it i'm correct x square plus 3x minus 28 let's see if it works it's correct so we can move onward they want us to factor this completely too so we can do this when they ask us to factor completely all we have to do is put two brackets over here so what makes this over here? That would be 2x and 2x plus b over here plus a over here, like so. Now, this is a little different because there is no something x in between. So we're going to have to try another way. I'll get to that in a moment. So 2x times 2x, 4x squared. I'm sure you should be used to the formula right now. 4x squared, 2xb. Oh wait, you make sure to write the plus or minus sign in between. So 2xb plus a times 2x, 2xa plus ab, because a times b is ab. So that right there should give us some clues. A b equals to minus one now that we've got that right over here we need to figure out two a plus two b equals zero let's see if that's correct what are the only factors of minus one well the only factors of minus one are minus one and one or you just switch those two numbers around so that means minus here minus here it would be minus two and here would be plus two that would equal zero we're correct so therefore a is minus one b is one let's see let's check our answer if it's correct 
to x, put the parenthesis or brackets if you want to call them, to x minus 1, or you can just flip them around and put plus 1, but I prefer to use this way, times another bracket to x plus 1. Let's see if that's correct. It's correct. 10 more questions to go. All right. So this is the one I've been trying to tell you all that has a method. Now, because these numbers over here are the same, there's just a plus and negative sign that's bothering us. We don't actually need that. For example, a plus b times a minus b would equal a square minus b square. What, it, what would be a in this form, in this case? I'll tell you what's a. Over here, 5 is the a. 5x is the a. What is the squared for that? What is the square for that number? 25x squared is the square for 5x. Now, now what is the b? The b would be 1 over here. You don't, don't bother about the negative or positive sign first. 1 is the... the the b so now we have to square that what's the square of one you do one times one which is one so it would be minus one because over here there's a minus you you can confirm then that watch 25 x square plus no not plus minus one that's right let's see how we do it that's because over here we'll, we'll We'll prove how this is possible. We'll prove how this is possible over here. 5x times 5x is 25x squared over here. And times 1, which is times minus 1, which is minus 5x. 1 times 5x plus 5x, which is 0 now. And 1 times minus 1 is minus 1 over here. So, therefore, 25x squared it equals to 25x squared minus 1, because minus 5x plus 5x is 0. So, I'm correct. This is um, the key method if you're, if you're struggling with a question like this. So, we can move on to the next question. Factor the polynomial by its greatest common nomin, nom, monomial factor. And let's see what are the factors of this six is a common factor because so we can put a six over here six and then we put a bracket no way no that's not the common factor six k to the power of three is the common factor so when you when they're asking you a question that that looks something like this first you need to pick all you need to see all the whole numbers you don't bother about the unknown, neither do you bother about the power yet. So, what are the factors of 12 and 30? 6 is a common factor of them, so I'll put 6 there. Now, we look at k to the power of the smallest power. In this case, the smallest power of 4k is, pow the pow is cubic, this cube. So, it would be k cube. Or you can do k to the power of 3, however you like to say it. And we put this parenthesis the open parenthesis what times 6 is 6k to the power of 3 is 12 2 we don't have to write k because 2 times 6k to the power of 3 is already 12k to the power of 3 and then we have to go minus put minus over here because this so minus what times 6 is 35 5k then we have to put the minus over here we'll see if this is correct all right for this this is a little bit complicated for some people but normally what i would do i would i would uh, simplify that to 2x squared like this instead of this form minus 16x divide 2 which is 8x plus 7 equals to 0. 
that's how you do it anyways now back back on to the formula so we put two and the brackets x plus a times x plus b now keep zooming in anyways x x square this will equal to x square two brackets x square actually plus x b plus x a or a x plus a b a b equals to seven over here because we've divided them by two so equals to seven and a plus b equals to eight minus eight that means they have to be a negative number we'll have to do minus one and minus seven so minus one minus seven would equals to minus eight so lesser x would be positive one and greater x would be seven positive all right we can move onwards now they want us to subtract this to make us to make this simpler what i would do i would write 5p cubed plus let's see what's smaller than that plus minus 7p square plus and after that we can do minus p minus 4p because plus times a, a, min a negative number times a positive number is still negative a negative however a negative times a negative number is still um po is will be a positive it, it get easier the more you the more you do it the more you'll know so minus p minus 4p plus over here 3 because minus times minus is a positive so we'll do plus 3 subtraction for this is actually easy it's actually hard even i found it hard the first time i did it but it'll get easier the more you the more you know even i'm now teaching teaching you how to do it that's how that's how good you'll be when you when you um learn more now 5 p cube plus minus 7 p square which is minus 7 p square minus p minus 4 p minus 5 p plus 3 let's see let's see the answer 5 p cube minus 7 p minus 5 p oh wait not minus 7 p minus 7 p squared and a liter plus three that's true it works now this is addition so what you have to do find the biggest number which is minus w to the power of three so we'll write minus w to the power of three plus eight w squared i'll put a bracket eight w squared the reason i put a bracket is because there are two w squares over here minus 8w squared which we know is a negative but we won't put the answer for now we'll figure out on 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 simplifying this a bit plus the next smallest is w minus 3w plus plus and bracket minus 3w plus w because there are two w two unknowns that have w and close bracket plus 3 because over here it's a non it's a non unknown so we put it at the last <clears throat> therefore we can we can solve this easier now w, w minus w cube plus zero w squared or zero you can just write nothing plus minus three w plus w which is minus two w plus three let's see minus w cube minus 2w plus 3 all right it, it works factor the product of the two binomials so let's see the square 
100 square with 10. One, sub 100, which means the square root of 100 is 10. So it can we can do bracket x minus 10 close bracket. So you have to put another bracket x plus 10. No square. Yeah, Alright, so factor the quadratic expression completely. We've done this types of question before. This should be easy. Now I would go for 3x because it's still a factor of 12 plus a 3x and b. Multiply them like so again. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, four x, four x, four x, four x. Yeah, four x. Twelve x square plus three x and b. Three x b plus four x a plus a b. A b equals the six. Four a plus three a equals the 17 so let's see what can equal 6 3 and 2 let's try 3 and 2 so 3 4 12 plus 3 2 6 that doesn't seem right because 12 and 6 might overload it and turn into 17 so let's try the other way let's swap it around so let's say a oh wait why is this a um a is 2 and b is 3 let's see 2 8 9 it works it equals to 17 so a is 8 and b is 9 therefore we do 3x plus 2 let's see yeah plus 2 times 4x plus 3. Alright, so this one, if they give, if they throw out a question that is something like this over here, you don't actually have to, to have to fully do the actual working. For this, this should be, this is easier because they already gave you one of these so what you have to do you just do 36 divide 9 36 divide 9 is 4 and and then we check these positives since they're two positive we can assure this is this will be a positive so it's x plus 4 let's see if this method will it worked now they want us to expand um we already know how to expand so I'm pretty sure we can go through this, but if you if you want me to clarify again, um, oh wait, this is a different type of question because over here we this is actually very simple. You do minus p and to the power of four minus minus and minus equals the plus p q plus because minus minus plus p squared solve for x enter the solutions from the least to greatest all right we can do the same method we did last time so it's x plus a times x plus b equals to zero x squared plus xb plus ax plus ab equals to zero ab is minus 12 and a plus b is minus 1 because minus x there should be it's basically minus 1x and we still don't need to bother about the x so it's minus 1 let's see the solutions for minus 12 we can do minus 3 and 4 let's try that minus 3 plus 4 mm, doesn't look like it. it looks like 1 to me so that's gonna be a big roast 
All right, how about we try opposite? Let's try three minus four. Three times minus four, basically. Three minus four is minus one. Mm, yep, it looks perfect to me. So, basically, A is lesser x is three is minus three and greater x is four. We have completed the whole questions. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please smash the like and subscribe button and share with others. Thank you.